Hello, my name is Jennifer Osborne and I am the awards officer with the foundation at North Island College. We have created this tutorial video to help make it easy for everyone to apply. Remember, only one application is needed to be considered for hundreds of awards. First thing you do is go to our website, foundation.nic.bc.ca and go to the menu for students. Here you scroll down, look at the five points on how to apply. This will help you get prepared with all the information you may require for the application. For example, step two tells you that you'll need to have your line 150 from last year's tax assessment ready at hand. And in step three, you'll find the link to the awards application itself. This will bring you to a login screen. You must have an NIC student number in order to apply to the Foundation Awards Program. If you're new to NIC, it usually takes between 24 and 48 business hours for them to process your application and assign you a student number, and you're good to go. The first page you'll see is our promise to you. All of the information you provide to us on this application is secure and protected under current information privacy laws. It is only used for the purpose of matching your application to eligible awards and never shared. You must click on the box at the bottom of the page in order to continue. And this does take just a couple of seconds for the next page to load. Just give it a moment. You'll notice at the top of each page, there's a last saved. And right now we've not saved anything. There are two ways that the contents of your application get saved. You can hit the button at the bottom, save and continue editing, or when you move to next section, we'll auto save it for you as well. You'll see here, last saved. That being said, we strongly recommend that you copy paste any typed text you enter into the Word document as you go. This will safeguard against losing data should your computer freeze or an error occur, but it will also help you to correct spelling and grammar to ensure your highest quality content. At the bottom of each page, you'll see the footer reminds you of the deadline, midnight on Tuesday, April 27th, and encourages you to complete your application to the best of your ability. Most of this information here is auto-populated from your student number. However, if you're missing information on your NIC profile, for example, your postal code or your social insurance number, this can cause an error when you try to submit your application. Please log in to your MyNIC profile and make sure that all of this information is complete before you submit your application. Throughout the application, we have embedded hints of areas we think you might need further explanation. Use them. For example, there are five points that help you determine if you are an entering student or not. Since COVID-19 has changed so much of how we learn today, the drop down menu for campus may seem like a tough question when so many of our programs are being offered online right now. However, please choose the campus that your course is based from or where you would attend if the program was delivered in person. For example, Bachelor of Science in Nursing students must choose Comox Valley as their campus, as this is currently the only campus that this program is being offered. You can check the NIC website in order to find out where your program is offered. Go to NIC slash programs, pick your program. And you'll see on the right-hand side, it tells you where it's based from. If you're not sure how many credits you need, you have, for example, whether you are full-time or part-time, you can go to the NIC website slash courses, go to the academic calendar, Put in your course code, and I'll just choose one that we're probably all familiar with. Filter, choose the course, and you'll see here right below the title, it tells you how many credits this course is worth. So if you have three times three credit courses in one semester, you're considered full-time. You'll notice in the financial needs section that all of the areas of this are required. This is because the more information you provide for us, the better we can determine your level of financial need. 
even if you think you will have a low need, for example, your parents have high income or you already have some financial supports in place, you may still be eligible for bursaries that have very specific criteria. All NI students, all, all NIC students across all program areas and campuses are eligible for bursaries and awards and will be supported based on financial need and or match to award criteria. Students with high academic standing are also considered for scholarships. Please provide as much information as possible to enable the scholarship and bursary selection committee more opportunity to support your application. Keep in mind the details provided help to match with sometimes unique donor criteria and your file will remain confidential. If there are any areas of this tab that you are unsure of, please explain in detail your specific circumstances on the last text box of the page. Most commonly asked question on the grades tab is in regards to your grade point average. For this drop down menu, choose the grade point average that is closest to yours. For example, if you have a 3.5, Choose 3.67, round up. In the supporting questions tab, please don't rush through this section. These questions are designed to extract those applicants that meet some of the unique criteria that some of the awards specify. Answer them all and give as much detail as possible. You might be giving us the tidbit we need to assign a specific award to you. In the About You section especially, it's highly recommended that you prepare and save copies of your responses to these questions in a separate working document. We read every detail you provide, and often it is in these responses that we find the one thing about you that fits a specific award. Owners want to support your passion, your path, and your future. Remember that everything you share with us on this application is confidential. Read some sample responses for examples on how to make your add more depth to your response. This is your chance to tell your story. Although only a few awards require a letter of reference, the ones that do are substantial. If you have any questions that haven't been answered here, please feel free to contact me by emailing foundation at nic.bc.ca or call 250-334-5074 and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Good luck. Don't forget to hit submit.